We're going to take a look at the prospects for inflation. This is stock sectors, and we're going to look at GSG commodity index, intermediate and longer term analysis. And I say inflation is not going away. And in the past, you've heard me refer to a doom loop. And what I said was that the way that the Fed is uh, creating money, uh, the government is borrowing money, all of that was going to get commodities moving on the upside once there was a pretty good indication that there was going to be an easing condition by the Fed. And we have seen recently commodities take off to the upside. The metals are absolutely exploding. Uh, we're seeing the grain starting to move up. Also, the only really laggard that I see in the commodity area is the uh, energy sector, which I don't think is going to go up very strongly. In fact, may actually be going down. But the rest of the commodities really look like they are very strong. We're going to take a look at this as we uh, switch over to look at the monthly chart uh, on GSG. This is the uh, GSG, uh, GSCI Commodity Trust. Uh, it's the ETF uh, uh, symbol GSG. And this is uh, a real good look at a basket of 24 commodities. And this is the monthly analysis. Uh, again, always we look at the cycle rhythms in the market, the energies as money comes in and money comes out, or in this case, as the demand for commodities uh, are strong or the uh, demand for commodities or a corrective process goes on, you can see here. And of course, the weakest areas are where the there's a liquidation near the end of the each of these cycles right in here. This was quite a negative occurrence when it breaks that cycle low, and then you can see it finishes very weak. In this case, where momentum is strong, and this is the reversal scout on the monthly pattern, uh, it didn't even have any time to correct in here, just one month down and then up again. We have a very interesting thing going on right now. This is actually called a base where it's been coming down and then the low is higher than the previous low. That sets up a strong upside move after that, as you saw right over here. Let's take a closer look at what's going on right in here as I grab this right like this. So here's where we are right now. This is that same basing look uh, as this cycle here was actually a positive and this is kind of an inside cycle. It's uh, inside this high and this low range. And in here we have a upward condition going on in momentum with only a little time to decline as you see right over here. This actually may mean that there was only a, maybe a matter of a few weeks in here for a little bit of a drop and then you can see that commodity prices are very likely to rise here into 2025. That shows you that the inflation problem is probably going to get worse, not better, uh, because commodity prices are very likely to be in strong demand uh, for very much maybe the next year looking at this. So maybe there's a little bit of a downside right in here but uh, that really says to me a minor correction, maybe that's due in the metals. Uh, and then uh, the upside is very apparent for quite a number of months going forward. That is a good reason to believe that the inflation problem is not going away. As I said, let's switch over to the weekly analysis. Let's keep in mind that this is a very positive structure that we see in here as there's only a little bit of time for it to come down and very likely to move up very sharply. Now, one more thing to look at. You see the measured move right up over there? So there's an inverted head and shoulders right here, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. You can see it got stuck at the neckline here. <clears throat> this is very likely to set up a pretty good upside move based on that and that measured move up there, 27.32, that would be a good 25% jump or so in the GSG. That's a lot of an upside move. Let's take a look here at the weekly. And the weekly chart right over here, well, you can see there's some similarity uh, in the weekly chart. You had this base form, and now you're in a very bullishly configured cycle. 
So in other words, this is very strong moving up here. Momentum turned down as you expect in a corrective process. And now just a matter of a few weeks where it may pull back. There's a possibility that's the low uh, and uh, getting ready to move to the upside. So we'll just look for maybe some kind of a little pullback in here. But then you see this rising phase in the cycle right here. That's a period of strength in the uh, July through September period. So, you know, that's when we're looking for the Fed to actually start to ease up, or at least the market is, uh, and maybe get some rate cuts. But, you know, with inflation to me looking like it's about to pick back up to the upside based on commodity input costs, there is a lag effect in that, but we have been seeing stronger commodity prices overall for some number of weeks in here. And uh, that lag effect kind of takes a while to get into the headline numbers. But this really looks to me like the Fed will be paying attention to that. And there's a possibility there will be no rate cuts this year based on what we see right in here, because the Fed will see that certain conditions are existing where Inflation is stubborn. Commodity prices are going up. Employment numbers are very strong. The economy is still growing and stock market at all time highs. It's a pretty hard uh, way to um, look for rate cuts when you have that, you know, all of those variables in line right there. Uh, I think it's pretty tough to get rate cuts at all based on that. So. Uh, if they did it, it might be just symbolic, just like the cutting uh, of the uh, way the balance sheet is rolling off. Uh, that's, uh, that is just a symbolic move, doesn't mean a lot, but this is very strong. Uh, if you look, we'll just look back a little bit further, and you see this shape of this, which is very positive uh, in that cycle, and you can see the same thing occur here and here and here. Those are all very strongly configured cycle patterns, and strongly suggest that what we're seeing right over here is going to be a sizable upside move in uh, the uh, commodity index, this GSG. Really, I have to say, looking at this, um, this is that doom loop uh, where uh, inflation is just going to keep coming back. And this, I think, is important analysis for you to, analysis for you to consider. Uh, when you are uh, looking for rate cuts and things, think that that will come and support the stock market. Um, I don't really think so. And really, the only way we're going to see any real rate cut scenario is that the stock market goes into a large decline, that being because there's some anticipation of a sharp slowdown in the economy. And then you'll see commodity prices uh, they won't go up and under those scenario because there'll be liquidations going on and that would set up rate cuts. Uh, and uh, that's uh, really what it would take would be a sharp drop in the stock market, which we don't really see right now. So uh, the prospects for uh, lower interest rates are pretty dim based on you look at this and the prospects for higher inflation. Well, it looks like a, a, a pretty a good scenario for that. So that's it. Stock sectors, GSG, uh, the GSC Commodity Index. I think it's important to look at that, and I hope you enjoyed it.